I'm gonna show you the exact process of me passing a FTMO challenge. We're gonna do this together on FX Replay and we're gonna simulate the prop firm environment. And I'm not gonna keep any of the secrets. I'm gonna show you the exact things I'm doing. I'm gonna reveal everything, the exact trades I take, how I take them, why I don't take them, anything, my exact thought process. And yeah, my hair situation is not looking that good. So I'm just gonna keep this one on. But yeah, let's jump into FX Replay. So we're gonna create a new session. Let's do a 100k account just for it to be easy with the mats. And I want to do some forex pairs. So I'm going to do this random uh, number generator and 11. And just to make sure you don't think I'm bullshitting you, I'm actually going to press this 11 more times because of this number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So three, one, two, three, AUD, USD, let's go. Date, uh, let's do year, one, two, three, four. So one, that's 2020. Month, one to 12, two, February, 29 days, 29, did it two, did it give me two? Let's just do one more, 27, two. Let's just do two, like three, because that's Monday. Okay, and let's do in the morning until now and save. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you the exact, my analysis, why I take certain trades, why I don't take others and just everything basically. So if I go to the monthly, instantly I see it just fucking going downwards. And we have this one as the low, like as a target, basically. Weekly, in also in a bearish range, actually just hit this one. And now looking to deliver to this low, which kind of lines up with this one. So just bearishness, honestly. Shorts makes a lot of sense. Daily is also in this range from this refined zone which got tapped so that's actually perfect so just shorts makes a lot of lot of sense right here and we have this four hour zone yeah four hour zone i'm just gonna follow it on the 15 so it's the same like one hour zone as well pretty much you have I mean, you have this one if you really want it. So I'm gonna follow on 15 right now. Just like see ways, like look for ways for me to get involved. Like look look for reasons for me to get involved basically. So I would want to see some sort of break. Even though we're in this big range, I'm still willing to like take stuff like this. So some sort of intermediate structure, but I'm still willing to take it as long as we get some nice push down on the brakes so like this this is something i'm willing to i'm willing to take basically if we come back up to the zone five so here is another interesting situation because this is technically a zone on the lower time frames so we have this range and price doesn't always have to come into the deepest zone it can just break down in the middle of the range and you can still follow it like this down so this is kind of what's happening right now so if i jump down to the five there's really nothing but on the one minute you can see it started to break down and break down and there's not really not nothing that clear like anything that clear so i'm still gonna follow on the five minutes see if i get my entry confirmation which I want to see some sort of liquidation like this. Liquidation of the previous candle and then a strong close, like a bearish close. Pretty much like this, <laughs> like I just drew out. So on the five minute we had this, this. I mean, on the five minute it's basically like breaking up honestly, but the 15 is, the 15 is what it makes most sense on because this is a, intermediate like 
somewhat intermediate structure zone. And yeah, we made some sort of, yeah. I mean, I'm willing to take this risk on this. I'm gonna put it four pips just because that's what I like to do. And like, even though price can easily just come up to this zone, I'm still, I'm still willing to take this because of the overall bearishness that we see. Like everything is just screaming shorts. So I'm happy to take the risk on this one. We're going to do sell stop and I'm going to risk 2% on every trade. And this is actually pretty aggressive. And a lot, I know a lot of people tell you to risk like 0.5 or 1% per trade. But, <laughs> but we only have 30 days, right? And technically it's from my first trade. So right now I don't have 30 days, but right after I place this one, we're going to have 30 days to pass this 10% challenge. And if you look at this, I risk, I target five or or one to five with a 2% risk. If this one hits take profit, what does that mean? That means... Like if you get lucky, because that's what it is, you need to get lucky with this like number, which order you get your trades and which order you get your wins in. But if you get lucky and get the win on the first trade, that's basically you passing, which obviously is a bit uh, like rare, but you still have the opportunity to do it. And you have to accept the risk that comes with risking 2%. Like there's totally normal like there's a world where you lose like one or two challenges before you even pass one because that's just how the edge or how the mathematics works out like you're not gonna be able to pass because you're like if you don't have a really really high win rate of course but that's just that's another that's another topic so i'm gonna follow this now so we get tapped in so i i'm not break even i'm looking for some sort of big push down nothing and in this case it just comes up and takes us out takes us out so that's fine and we can follow this one now up here so we get up to this zone which is honestly the better one and the deepest one so we follow this now see if we get any nice candles so this is the candle like we were talking about, right? Did we hit this? We didn't hit it. So the reason I'm not going to take this one is because there's just so strong bullishness coming in right here. And I would like for it to slow down and make one more or two liquidations more. That would be an optimal entry for me. So I'm not going to take this one because of that reason. And you can see it starts to break down and it's like breaking down, but... You could argue that you have a zone in here, but that's pretty mitigated. So I'm just going to keep following. Hopefully it comes higher up and gives us some other setup. This is pretty good though. But Okay, let's see if we hit that take profit on this. So I would have four pips because that's my minimum. Yeah, it's still a long way. So we could still come up to this one. Like we did now. And now this also, does it line up with something else? Not really anything. So honestly, I would like just to liquidate and get something up here, if anything. All right, so maybe there was news right here. That's not nice. And 18, this is pretty much the end of the session. So I'm just going to skip to the next day. Eight, around eight. So what do we have here? The one hour liquidated, liquidated, which is not really a good sign because that's like if it wanted to go down, it probably just would have gone right. So, but at the same time, we have the four hour zone. I'm gonna look for some sort of fifteen minute breaks down. Otherwise, I'm not gonna do anything. So we have this. 4 hour is liquidating, like it's just making a wick. So they will break here. Nope. 
So we're slowly coming up again here. So we're inside of this one. And this is, if we look at the four hour, yeah, this is still just, this is not a closed, so they can easily just come back down. So I'm actually, I'm gonna look for an entry in here. So now if we get a big wick and a strong close, that's a good sign. So we never liquidated, just keep going. So let's see if we, okay, so it's still a wick on the 15. The four hour is not closed. Five. So I'm actually gonna take this because it's so high up in the range. So either we get taken out and it's a minus one, like minus two percent, or it just runs, right? So either we get out or we got we just run. We're not gonna get stuck like in between here, just taking a lot of losses. So we never got tapped in. No tap in. So I'm actually gonna. I mean, I would rather wait for a new liquidation. So you see it got tapped in, but we're not in it. And the 15 actually broke up here, so nah, I wouldn't I wouldn't touch this. I would need some new breaks down, and this is the end of the session. So I'm gonna just play this forward. See like eight. Let's take a look at the four hour. The daily. So the daily. Oh yeah, so basically everything is stuck in this huge range right here. But that doesn't mean we can't look at these ones, the intermediate ones. So 4 hour broke up. Which is actually a pretty good sign. Because it was making a lot of like breaks down I believe. Like 1 break, 2 breaks, 3 breaks, 4 breaks, 5 breaks. So now we kind of reset the break count or the like, because we had five breaks in a row down. So this could easily just be like break up, like liquidity grab to just continue lower. And we also build a lot of like, we build this liquidity right above the bigger, like daily, weekly target, which is also a nice sign, like it's lining up. So. I'm just waiting for something to break down. Like one hour is down there. 15 is the same, but if we get some nice push down in here, we can take it. So just breaking up. Not really any clear breaks. So now we're starting to break, but it's getting pretty late. So we have this. And now it's end of the session, so I'm gonna Fast forward the next day to like 8 a.m. which is there and we have this range right here which we're just gonna follow so we break down which is good and now it's just so wiki this is the last unmitigated zone I would watch and let's slow it down if we come up never tapped right Okay, so we tap the zone, and do we have something on the one hour? The one hour is still this low, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that we have this on the 15, which still is like intermediate structure, but I'm still fine with this. So if we get a nice liquidation, hopefully not on the next one. So yeah, now if we get some nice liquidation and a strong close, that's really, really good sign for me. But we're just gonna keep going up. So did we have anything? Actually, we have this one that's unmitigated. I didn't see it. So you can see we have this imbalance in here, which is even better because now we're tapping into this one. And if we get the same thing here, a wick and a strong close. Like this one. This is actually pretty perfect. Only thing that could be better if was if we liquidated this high. But that doesn't really matter at this point. And I'm gonna do 4 pips minimum. Because I don't wanna get fucked over by commission. So, place sell stop 2%. Yeah, this is looking pretty good for me. So we get tapped in. 
nothing to break even yet. This is close of the candle. So if we get a close like blow here, a strong push, I will go break even. So that's a pretty good push down, but not far enough. And now we're starting to slow down, which is actually not that good of a sign. But still, if we get below here, it's pretty, like, it's pr probably just gonna drop. Okay, so this is a good sign. And now, yeah, now I'm gonna go, actually, I would want one more down. I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna go break even here. If it comes up, it's fine, because... This is just so wicky, I wouldn't even mind it. Like, so yeah, I probably, this is the close. So now I would have gone break even 100% if I never went before. So yeah, now it starts to break down. And this is not us passing the challenge, like five or or. We're not gonna pass the challenge right here. Because if it was my Forex funds, for example, you would pass it, but I'm just gonna extend this so we can take partials instead if we hit this. So we're going down, actually it's looking pretty good. Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this out. Let's see if we get something. As soon as, if we tap this, I'm gonna take 80% off. So there, we tapped it, you can see. Even though it's a bit higher up, I'm gonna take 80%. Yeah, 80% save. Save. And now, actually, we're pretty close to passing the challenge. If this starts to run, we could actually pass it. But I'm gonna need to turn off my camera for one second because it's giving me some weird message. <laughs> be right back. Okay, we should be fine now. <clears throat> uh, oh yeah, yeah, we just hit the partials. And if it actually starts to run, we could potentially pass it. I would usually like trail my stop loss a bit, but I usually do it when we get some like structure breaks. So I would trail it up here. Right now we're just falling, so now it doesn't have any pullbacks. So I don't really know how much it needs to run for us to like get to 10k. But otherwise it just comes back and that's fine because we're we're still overall really, really bearish. So we have all the way down here for us to potentially catch more trades if it comes back up. So I'm just gonna play this out now. Actually, oops, oops, oops. Fine. So let's keep, actually did we, so I think if we close it right now, we have 10K, I think. So I think it's, I think it's actually done. Watch in unrealized. Oops. Okay, yeah. So maybe we close this one and then we do like continue as if it was the uh, stage two or the verification because this is 10k, right? Unrealized. Yeah, uh, realized. Yeah, this is the whole position, the ones I closed and the ones that's running right now. So, if anything, we should do this. It wasn't. <laughs> I'm fucking dumb. But what? Oh yeah, because we were minus... T okay, fuck me. Okay, let's see what happens. So this is pretty much the end of the session, so now I would just manage... Okay, so good thing, and I will close at around like latest, latest, this rollover. I mean, I kind of fucked up a bit, yeah, but not, we didn't lose that much, so it's okay. Yeah, I forgot that we was minus 2k in the beginning, so we were plus 10k, but, you know, yeah. Anyways, now we just need like a 1 to 1 on the next trade to pass it. So the one hour is still, we're still targeting this. This is still our like target. Actually, let us play this forward to eight, seven. 
eight. Okay, so we broke we broke down. Everything is just pointing towards like shorts. So that's just what we're gonna follow. Fifteen minutes is in this range with this is the last unmitigated. Doesn't look like we're gonna get there, but I mean if we do it's nice. So we kind of breaking down. And I will just follow this and see if we get up here. And we're just falling, 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 which makes a lot of sense because if you look at how price have been moving, daily is still like yeah. Technically for me this is the daily low, so if we close under this one, it's it's a break. One hour is still here. And I'm, I'm just gonna follow the 15 minutes ranges to go short. Like this. And we created... So this is a bit ugly because we had this zone, but it got mitigated. And now the last one is pretty much this one. Which we're tapping into right now. So nice, nice, nice. And we're like on the edge of all of these so depending on how we close this might be clean or not so clean but let's see what we get here let's do a little bit slower so this is good this is a slowdown so now if we get up and liquidates everything actually do this so if we get above this and start to liquidate some stuff now liquidate and a strong bearish candle that's a good sign for me so no liquidation Still, just now again, liquidation and a strong bearish candle. That's a good. Okay, so we didn't get any of this. Just broke up and this is basically the end of the trading session. So I'm going to fast forward. And this is the, you can see now, I don't think this closed. Actually, we did. So we closed under this and we actually opened under this one as well, which was... It was the weekly or something, monthly maybe. Like, yeah, the overall just. Uh, yeah. Expectations is still just go lower, honestly. And we broke the daily. So this is the daily zone right now. This is the daily. And this is no longer important. We tapped into the daily before, made a new daily. Four hour is probably just pretty much the same as the daily. We can have this one as a more refined one. One hour is up here. 15. So I don't really care about which one of these zones it taps into. Because I'm following the 15 minutes. I'm just waiting for a 15 minute breakdown. And then that's what I'm confirming. So I just this is just me keeping in mind where potentially the 15 could start to uh, like turn around. But this is also fine for me, like a, so you see here, we just liquidated, liquidated and then broke down this intermediate structure, which left behind this zone right there. So if we come up here, I'm willing to confirm it. So actually right now, this is the same as like some before, I think we had the 15 and we yeah, this was probably the same as the first one we lost, actually. So it's somewhat of a break on a lower time frame. You see on the one minute, it's a break. And that's why we can follow this, because this is what's getting hit right now. And then it doesn't matter that we hit this one. Because now, if you really, really think about it, on the one hour, like, we didn't hit this zone, but we're breaking down on the lower, right? So we can follow this to go lower. This is exactly the same stuff that's happening happening right now on this 15. We broke down, like we didn't hit this one, but we broke down and we can follow this one down. This is exactly the same thing. And that's why this is actually valid. If I get a nice candle to as a confirmation. So I will need some big wick and a strong close, which I don't get here. So there's nothing for me to do. This is still uh, still valid though. 
till väl uh, yeah. I mean at this point it would be much cleaner if it comes up all the way. So I'm just gonna wait for either up here or breakdown. Because you can say this is just consolidating, it's just wiki. So it's much rather it's much better for me to wait for more like volume to come in for it to actually start to make real pushes. Which is does which it does right here, right? So we can follow this. I'm not seeing anything yet. Not anything. No, no, no. So we made a new break, which comes from this zone. Maybe five minutes, nothing really. Still just bearish overall. Okay, so we come into the zone, which is nice. We have, you see, we had this one right here. But what did I say before about the like strong pushes and the first one? This is usually the slowdown and then we get some sort of more liquidation. And in this case, do we have any refined zone? So we have this refined which got, which got hit. The one minute, I mean, not really anything that I want to look at. So I'm just going to follow like on the five minutes. If this closed below, it would have been better. But I'm still, this is still like the slowing down for me. So I want some push up and then the hard drop like this. And now if we get this wick, like big wick, strong close, that's honestly the perfect setup. Now if we come up a bit, it's starting to like, now it's nothing for me to do. But you can see we were right about uh, the whole play basically. Just didn't get any setups, which is part of the game. And you, this is just normal. We just wait and now it's end of the session. So I'm gonna just play price forward to the next day, which starts at 8 a.m. around here. So if we just take a look again, we have all of these zones and we're just, we're tapping into the one hour zone actually. But again, I don't care about which of these zones get tapped. All I follow, all I'm doing right now is following the 15 for breaks down and reasons for me to go short basically. So that's basically all I'm doing right now. You see it's just moving sideways. We made actually a breakdown there and we made another one right now I believe, yes. But there's not really any clear zone. This is the only thing you could argue, the wick. So if we get a nice setup right here, Again, if this one is a weak and strong close, I don't like it because it's so like strong up. I would rather wait. Yeah. So now we broke up and yeah, I'm just waiting for breakdowns and end of the session. 8.15, that's good. So one hour didn't hold. Now we're mitigating the daily. Yeah, the daily, this one. And we can just check here. So 15 minutes is actually stuck in this huge range right here. But like I've done before, I can still trade these ones because it's probably like a five minute or something. You see like five minutes, did it break? Probably broke, so yeah. So I'm just gonna follow this. Because there's, like for me, there's no reason not to follow these ones because Everything else is setting up. We're in the daily zone, like the one I'm expecting. We're starting to get some sort of breakdowns. And if I get a nice, this is like the last thing. If I get a nice candle, liquidation candle, then I'm basically, there's no reason for me not to. Like this one. We liquidated basically all of these highs. And keep in mind, we only need a one to one right now. Like this is me passing the challenge if we get down here. But I'm still gonna do a 1 to 5 just for it to set up like this. Sell stop. So, what I'm seeing right here, 15 is in the big, big bullish range. However, we made this break here, intermediate break. And this is the zone that it left behind. And all whenever like price comes into the zone, as long as I get my good, good, like these ones, like 
it slowed down. We made some up and down, like some sort of distribution or anything you want to call it. And we liquidated and a strong push down. This is a really good sign for me. So I'm willing to take this. So now we get tapped in. So unless we get tapped out directly, we could have a chance to pass this challenge right here and now. Which doesn't seem like we're going to be able to do now. So, yeah, minus one or minus two percent. So in this case, we're just waiting for another breakdown. And now we're even tapping the four hour refined one, I believe. Yes. So maybe you didn't wanted to take this one. Maybe you just waited for the four hour, which honestly makes more sense if you really wanted to get this good, good setup as the last one, because you only needed one, right? Like one RR. But now we need now we need around two RR. So I'm just gonna fast forward until 8 a.m. Which is around here. And as we can see, we broke down on the one hour now. So mitigating the daily and the four hour zone, which I can do like this, the refined four hour. And one hour is breaking down with, with an already bearish bias in mind. And this is just screaming like, this is just so short right now. And the good thing is that we can just follow these ranges. So you could argue this is another one of these intermediate ones, but price is not really, there's not really any movement in price. So now we're getting into the real one, which I like a lot more. Again, we got this like fake out, if you want to call it. And now if we get a wick and a strong close, I'm really, really liking it. So this is the close of this 15 minute candle. And I'm still, this is still valid. Like still if we get a wick and a big close. So we never liquidated, which is the bad thing. So I'm not taking anything here. So we still got some sort of movement push down. And five minutes, not really making anything right now. Maybe there's some news or anything. I mean, you could check the news like FX factory. Because this is kind of like when you're doing it live, you obviously you have the news up, right? Like, you know, you know what, like when the news are. So we can actually check this. AUD, USD, apply uh, 13 February 2022. So 13, okay, 1am and 2.30. Okay, so this was news and then to 30 so we probably won't get any like good setup because it's news so yeah here i'm not taking this one because it's like 15 minutes before the news now however however if we get a nice nice uh, five minute close above some of these ones like now if the next candle is a wick above and a close strong close Pretty much like this. This is actually really good for me. And I need like not even a one to two for this to for this to pass. So at the same like two percent risk all the time. And I'm gonna do this. Will we get tapped in? And we're not really doing anything, it's just me like um, wiki. So now when I really look at it, like now afterwards, which is honestly, obviously it's much easier afterwards, but this is probably not a good setup because it's so wicky, as you can see, and we get taken out. So probably shouldn't have taken this one, even though we got a nice candle, like we on, like, let's make, let's just be fair. Like we, there's so much better entries for us to take. So this is, that was probably a big mistake by me. Did we yeah. so we made like we broke up so I'm just gonna wait now end of the day and you can see we're still like now we went from needing one RR to two RR and now we only need three RR so we're still like just one trade away and like yeah we just need one good trade 
So the one hour, you can see this just held beautifully, just wicked above, and now starting to break down. So 15 minute breaks down is, is still the plan, still the game plan here. Just waiting for anything to break down with like a pretty strong push. Pretty much like this. And yeah, so the 15, this is the low of the current range, if you follow these ones. So, I mean, there's not really anything I would like to trade in there. It's still wiki. And now we just skip to the next day. Seven, eight. That's the one hour and we're just looking for 15 breakdowns, which happened right there. And this is the last unmitigated zone, which gets tapped in right now. So, still just looking for a strong liquidation candle. This is not really something I like because it's still just moving sideways. What I've seen is you want something that's like you want up and downs. This is just sideways. So, not taking it. This is much better. You see? This is what I'm like. This is what experience, like the importance of backtesting and seeing your strategy. But at the same time, if we really look at it, it's still like pretty wicked, right? So this is kind of like the one we took before. But if we look at the 15, like we actually broke down. We have a real 15 minute like range. And I don't see any reason for it not to just fall down. So I'm really happy with taking this, even, even if it gets like, even if it's a loss. Uh, this is the close, so that's a break even. So now we're gonna, now we need to, okay. So we need, yeah, we need 6,000. So that's like three or I think. It must be around, maybe a little bit less because we were, were a bit in profit already. So let's see if we just get taken out or if it wants to run. Uh, Okay, so we have, this is the actual, yeah, this is the actual account balance. So when this is at 10, 10, 110, that's when we are past. So hopefully we can get some sort of a runner here. Do we wanna do five minutes at a time? I mean, I wanna do one because it, it, sometimes you just wicks, it just wicks. And you can see we can trail this one now, a bit in profit. Sometimes this is not even worth trailing because you could get taken out and just continue, but like you get so small profit. So, I mean, sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not. And do we actually have some 17, no news. And this is actually my birthday, 17th of February. So let's see if we can get a runner or a three or or oh actually we made a you could argue we would have trailed here because we made a new high and a new low and yeah but i'm not gonna do it right now because if we break again i will trail i just missed this i like i just didn't see it that's why i didn't do it and if I would have, I would have put it a bit above, so it could liquidate, like it did now. Okay, so now if this one closes, which it does, this means I can put it down here, which is at 1 RR. So that's already something secured. And now we're 0 0.5 RR from the passing challenge. So, okay. 0 0.25 I believe and that's the that's it now we now we close and now we scream <laughs> flashbacks right <laughs> oh. okay same did we not get it seriously and this is just the reality of doing prop firms now you get like one single little such oh this is so unfortunate 
<laughs> Seriously. Okay. I'm gonna... I guess we're gonna need another trade. <laughs> so I'm not gonna just like... I mean, you could... I mean, not financial advice, of course, but you could just open a small, small lot and just um, like try to milk the last... the last... Uh, the last $60 from this one. And every time if you lose, you could just open a smaller, but a little bit bigger than the one you did before. Like you martingale it pretty much. But because we're gonna do it fair play here, we're just gonna follow, enter on a real setup, and hopefully we get $60. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's so unfortunate. Because yeah, now you see it's clearly, it's uh, we just held. Or actually, we would we would have get gotten taken out at break even. So let's see. Yeah, but this is more than enough. Three point thirteen. Okay, let's just try to get sixty dollars. How can we do this? So I'm just gonna continue like following exactly the way I've been doing. So fifteen minute zone. It's pretty late though. Like it's already past six p.m. So I'm just gonna skip to the next day. And L 8 a.m. right there. So you can see how everything just lines up. You get to the daily or four hour zone, like you start to break down, you just follow it down and you have basically all the way down to this target. And this is just so nice when you get deep mitigation and it just starts to play like it starts to follow through perfectly and you it doesn't just breaks up breaks down and just plays around for ages because that's when you get taken out a lot like that's when you're gonna lose a lot of money and yeah four hours perfect just bearish one hour broke one hour broke again right there and we made a new low so this is the target 15 minutes I mean this is pretty wiki I'm gonna see if it breaks, which it does, and hopefully we have some. So yeah, this is all mitigated. The only thing we have is this one, which we never came up to, and we actually made a new, we made a new, uh, yeah, new zone, which is not, honestly, it's not the clearest because it's so close to the already, to the already low. So yeah, you can see now. This zone is not, now this zone is mitigated. So technically this is now the last unmitigated one. Because we, we're, like we're keep doing, we're still, we're still doing this low. Like we haven't made a pullback, which would be the low created. So like now, this is now the low created. Because now this closed above the previous one. And if you really wanted, this is like the last unmitigated portion or the last unmitigated part of this range which we taps into right now so if we get a nice trip like if we get a nice uh, uh, black candle yeah we can you see it's also started to like make some slow push like it never really push it up like I'm getting so lost right now. It never, it didn't really make a huge, huge push. Okay, anyways, it just breaks up, basically. So, it's still holding, but it's not. it doesn't give me anything I like at this point. So I'm just gonna skip, skip, skip. And skip to the next day. So one hour is starting to break up, actually. So, actually, I'm gonna check how many days we have left on this. Um, okay, so we have around two weeks left on the challenge. That's good. So we still just we just need sixty dollars, and I'm just waiting for a proper setup because I'm I don't wanna just uh, yeah yolo it you know. I probably would on a real challenge though, like just open a small lot and just wait for it to get in profit. Not financial advice, but oops. Okay, so we we actually started to break up, I believe, on the one hour. One break up. So this is still just liquidity grab, honestly. 
more than likely just gonna fall down. Uh, so we can just follow this. So even though it breaks up again, this is the same like thing. Because on a two hour, you can see two hour is still is still holding bearish. Like it never made a break up. So on the two hour, we actually have this zone. So what did we see before? Like when we're in between the zone and the target, on the lower time frames, like when it breaks down, we can follow this. So even though the one hour is breaking up two times, it's still more likely to like just fall down. And that's why I'm gonna go to the 15 and just wait for some sort of breaks down like this one, which I then can follow in this zone. If we come up or we make a new one, doesn't matter. I just follow this new one then like this. And did we make a new pullback? Nope, still the right one. And is this the one hour? No, this is the whole thing for hour. No, yeah, this is the one hour intermediate. No, this is the one hour, yeah. So you can see, even though we made the double break up, it's still more likely to just fall off based on the overall, my overall bias. bias. So at the end of the session, just gonna skip forward. And we had like two weeks, two weeks for us to get our setup so we can make $60 to pass this challenge. What a, what a challenge. Uh, so we inside of this range, one hour actually, or this is the, that's the four hour actually. So four hour actually broke down now. So this played out perfectly, mitigation, daily four hour broke down. Daily haven't closed yet, but four hour closed. And we had a new pullback right here, which, so this is basically the whole four hour zone. 15 minutes, yeah, it lines up with the 15 minutes. I'm just gonna keep this one. And we break down. So now I can keep the four hour because the 15 minute is no longer up there. Oops. Okay, so we break down again. Can we get the final trade is the question. Okay, so we're slowly coming up. We're tapping in. So we tapped in. Let's just draw out the low. And okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can we get a nice... Not, not, not. No, no. Nothing. And we break down. Okay, okay. It's still fine. So we're... We have this zone right now. Which we tapped into. And keep in mind, we don't need a huge break, a huge runner. Like, we probably just need around a 1 to 0 like this, 0 17. But this is still not the one I'm looking for because it's push up and the first like slow down. So more than likely, it's just gonna continue up into some of the deeper ones up here. Yeah, we would have gotten taken out. This is still more like sideways than anything, so I'm still not taking this. I want some ups and downs. So right now it's actually, we're actually kind of mitigating some zone in here. So if we get a nice candle, I'm, okay, I didn't look at the time, but it's way out of the session, so I'm just gonna skip. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's just make sure we don't, um, we don't like break the time limit because we only had two weeks to make $60. So hopefully we get some setups. So this is the same thing as before, like we broke down and we had this zone, but I didn't see it right now. But we made this. I mean, I might as well take this. So the reason is like, we have this zone. We know that price is more likely to just break down on the lowers and we can follow it to continue delivering. So that's kind of what's happening here in the five minutes, I mean, it's not really the real structure, but the one minute, yeah, the one minute broke down. So the one minute broke down here. This is the target. And we had some zone up here. 
but just for now I'm gonna take this and hope it like gives me a so small profit like would be so sad if it just taps me in and goes to like loss so hope if it taps me in hopefully we get some sort of okay we're not in profit so okay 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 I mean it's probably gonna come down again okay okay thankfully now I can close the position 100% and boom that's 10 that's the challenge basically <laughs> that's so like that's so unfortunate like $60 but yeah I mean that's the that's the challenge we can go to the dashboard like look at the analytics so it's like 50% win rate, six trades. I mean, you probably, this is probably a bit on the luckier side, I would believe. Like, at least, I mean, no, I mean, this is this is including the break evens, so it's it's fine, it's fine. But this is just like me actually passing the challenge. Like, technically, I made 10% in this time span between February the sixth. No, the 3rd of February to the 21th of February. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video and I really hope you could see like the importance of me knowing my strategy because I know exactly what times I'm not trading, what times I should stay out and which of the type of setups that usually don't perform. Like the one that you just push up and the first candle, that's no, no for me. And you saw I saved myself from a lot of potential losses just from me knowing these stuffs. But 2% per trade is a bit risky, so you need some sort of luck as well, like the time you take the challenge, you need to time it perfectly. At least for my system, I have time periods where I'm in drawdown pretty much. And then I get this small period of time where it just shoots up, you get these good runners, you get these good trades, like one, two, three trades basically in a row. And that's probably one of the periods we managed to like hit in this February that we tested on. Yeah, what pair? A AUD USD, I think. I know you wanted to see more like short related, more trading, like backtesting, live trading, and you know, stuff like this. So I hope this was valuable and something you wanted to see. And you can type your opinion and feedback, like what you thought about this video, if you learned something, like anything in the comments, and I will read everything. We're basically moving the channel in a different direction, which I believe is a good move. And we're no longer making these daily uploads with like mostly psychology talk. If you want some of these ones as well, you can just type in the comment your feedback, okay? And if you haven't backtested already, like you can go on some like trading view or FX replay and just backtest and like pretend it's a challenge, like 30 days or unlimited days, depending on which challenge you're gonna take, and just see if you manage to pass it or not. That's just a fun little game you can do. Because you can't just sit around watching these YouTube videos. Because remember, the clock is ticking.